Row 18, plot 20. Hey everybody, welcome to Now It's Dark, I'm Jim. Today I have a new movie review for the movie Children of the Corn. Uh, this is a 2020 film that's just now being released in 2023, if I understand this correctly. Um, and it is an hour and 30 minutes. And yes, it is Children of the Corn, the Children of the Corn from Stephen King. This is the 12th installment uh, in the franchise of Children of the Corn. Um, so I went into this movie with kind of low expectations. It only has a 3.6 star rating on IMDb, but there's there's just a handful of reviews at this point. Um, this was written and directed by Kurt Wimmer, and uh, writing credits also go to Stephen King. And I have two little synopsises for you that are very different, so I'm going to read both of them. And uh, I know people leave comments that I'm too scripted, but I like to read uh, right from it because my memory's not so good, and I don't want to do the movie justice. So the IMDb storyline is the film describes the events leading up to and including the massacre of the adults of a small town in Nebraska by their children, after the adult's irresponsibility ruins the crop and the children's future. And then there's another uh, <clears throat> more descriptive uh, and more, more like to the point. Uh, a psychotic 12-year-old girl in a small town in Nebraska recruits all of the other children and goes on a bloody rampage, killing the corrupt adults and anyone who anyone else who stands in her way. A bright high schooler who won't go along with the plan is the town's only hope for survival. Um, filmed in Australia and America. So our main cast, uh, you know, there's a lot of kids. I'm not going to name off all these uh, little munchkins, but um, Boylan Williams was played by Elena Camporis. And Eden Edwards was played by Kate Moyer. Uh, she's fantastic. So she's the 12-year-old psychotic kid um, who I really, really loved in this movie. She is brutal. She's the Red Queen. She is the Red Queen. And uh, if you watch this movie, you'll find out what that means. i um, going to try to not be very spoilerish, but... I think everyone kind of gets the gist of the story of Children of the Corn. So, um, thankfully, I'm not, like, very vested in the original stories, and I never read the Stephen King short that this is based on. So I didn't have, like, a set, they better do this or they better do that, or, you know, I didn't have a, I don't like the way they did this kind of thing going into the movie, which I think benefits me, um as a person that's going to do a review, um, I'm definitely going to be interested in comments uh, from people that are more vested in the 1980s original, what is it, 84 or whatever, uh, movie, uh, the Linda Hamilton era, and, um, you know, the comparisons between the two. Um, so, yeah, this is a little prequelish. Um, so the story takes place a little bit before, um, the, uh, Stephen King short, which I liked. I liked the buildup. I liked the showing of the town and the turmoil that the adults are going through with, um, you know, they're, they're losing their town because they can't provide for their families and the corn crop is just not cutting it. And so they have to make decisions, uh, and they're the adults, the kids are wild. Um, they show like a slow build of the kids just getting more and more rambunctious. And uh, when there's like a town meeting to make the final decision for what's best for business, um, the kids kind of speak up and they're like, we don't get a say. And the adults are just like, no, you don't. And so uh, the kids, led by Eden, uh, they decide to take matters into their own hands. Um, there's a lot of, uh, interesting, like, religious sprinklings throughout. You know, there is a, 
a pastor who's a main character in the adult side of the story. Um, so there is also the supernatural aspect of it, and there's, you know, the, uh, the he who walks uh, is what's named by Eden uh, as being the corn. The corn is he who walks, uh, so to speak. And um, so, and he who walks has, you know, religious uh, Bible verses um, and things like that. You can look that all up if you want to really get into it. Um, but, uh, so there's some, some minor CGI-ish type complaints, and it's not even a complaint. It's, you know, it is what it is. CGI, um, is a long ways from where it used to be, and then there's movies that come out and you're still like, oh, that's, eh, not so good, but, uh, He Who Walks has some slight you know, CGI-ish type things. I did get a chuckle and I said, I am Groot, uh, at one point when He Who Walks was on camera. And then there's a big explosive climax and some of the fiery scenes are obviously, um, CGI. But, uh, the ending is really good. And I thought, okay, this is not going to be left open for further movies, further sequels, further interpretations, but then they did. So I'm very happy about that. Um, I'm pleasantly surprised by this movie. I, uh, again, went in with very kind of open uh, but low expectations, and uh, I'm really glad that I took the time to watch this right away. This should be on Shudder, uh, by the way. It's a Shudder movie. Um, but, uh, yeah, so on IMDb, it's a 2020 film, but I think the release date is today uh, 2023, March 21st, or something to that effect. So if you've seen it, or you're a fan of the Children of the Corn, uh, franchise, uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I'm, I'm very interested in hearing, uh, if people can separate themselves. Um, it kind of makes me think of, like, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre franchise. There's people that are you know, in love with that first movie, and nothing else can compare to it. Uh, there's been some reboots, some restarts, some requels, some sequels, you know, that people love or hate, and then there's just a big divide, and there are people that are just not willing to budge. Uh, and I think Children of the Corn, having had so many movies, uh, could fall into that category for people. Uh, but let me know, and uh, if you get a chance to check this out, I recommend it. I like corn. Big, beautiful knobs of corn. So have your dream. Go on and sing your song. There's nothing wrong with singing out of tune. If people laugh and say your dream can never be, just think of me.